Hello there, I'm Sages Mike right here and welcome to another hardware tutorial video. This circuit that you are seeing right here is the complete SIM card detection circuit of a mobile PCB. So what is it that you're gonna learn in this video? I want you to understand that this lesson is a professional level tutorial video from my online course. So in this lesson, you are going to learn the complete SIM card detection circuit of a mobile PCB. So in the SIM card detection circuit of a mobile PCB, we have the PMU IC, which is the power manager IC. We have the CPU. We have the NFC IC, which is the near field communication IC. And then we have the SIM card itself, which is the SIM card chip. This, a SIM card is a chip, you need to keep that in mind. Okay, so when you have all these components, how does this circuit turn out to detect the SIM card when you plug it into the phone? First, you need to understand that the SIM card of all mobile PCBs needs... Okay, let me reverse that. And the SIM card of all mobile PCB needs an input voltage. So this input voltage is from the power supply IC, which is the PMU IC. Always keep in mind the PMU IC is the main component that distributes voltages to different parts of a mobile PCB, and this is an example of its function. So the PMU IC needs to supply the NFC IC with a voltage. Either that voltage is 3 volt or 1.8 volt. So when that voltage gets into the NFC IC, the NFC IC is going to step down that voltage to 1.8 volt. Okay, don't get confused right here. The NFC IC only steps down the voltage to 1.8 volt if only it gets 3 volt in. You understand so let me let me explain something to you right here i know that you it's not easy for you to understand this circuit right here even though i'm going to explain it in great details but to understand this complete circuit you need to learn the block diagram as you can see right here and you need to learn the schematic diagram of this circuit so in this lesson we will be talking about the block diagram, I will explain the block diagram, but for you to actually know where to find these points on a mobile PCB, you need to know how to find them in your schematic diagram, and you need to know how to find them in a mobile PCB, and I'm not going to include that lesson right here, that lesson is going to be in my online course, in which you can send me a message in case you need the complete mobile repairing course starting from the basics to the professional level of troubleshooting. With that, you are going to study all these in great details. But not to worry, you are going to learn a lot from this lesson. Okay, so when the power IC supplies the NFC IC with 3 volt, the NFC IC steps down that 3 volt to 1.8 volt. But if it comes to the type of mobile PCBs that get a 1.8 volt, directly from the PMU IC to the SIM card that mobile phone will not have an NFC IC but when it comes to the mobile PCBs that receive 1.8 volt instead of 3 volt from the PMU IC to the NFC IC the NFC IC is going to receive that 1.8 volt and release that 1.8 volt to get into the SIM card right here which you can see right here is the SIM card VCC. So instead of stepping down the voltage, the NFC IC then act as a pr protector for that voltage. And without the NFC, high or fluctuating voltage can easily damage the SIM card. That is why NFC IC is always required, even if it doesn't step down the voltage that is coming out from the PMU IC. And before you know 
about the voltage from the PMUIC to the NFC and from the NFC to the SIM card, you need to know how this voltage is enabled because this voltage is not a standby voltage in most forms. So we have the SIM VCC right here, which is the main voltage that gets into the SIM card. We have these other points right here. We have the SIM card detect, which is the SIM card detect pin or interruption pin. And we have the SIM card clock signal. And we have the SIM card reset signal right here. Then we have the UMI, the UIM data right here, which is the data pin. So how do all these function? When the SIM card is connected to the mobile PCB, the SIM card is going to be detected by the CPU through the detect signal right here, which you can also call interruption signal. When the CPU detects that the SIM card has been plugged into the phone, the CPU will then send an end signal to the PMUIC through this line right here, which is a signal line. So when the CPU detects the SIM card plugged into the phone, the CPU will then send this end signal right here to the PMUIC and the PMUIC is going to enable the voltage that the NFC IC needs. You understand? And when the NFC IC gets that voltage, the NFC IC is not going to give out that voltage yet. The NFC only gives out that voltage when it gets its own end signal right here from the CPU, which is also called enable signal. When it gets the enable signal from the CPU, that's when it's going to enable the output voltage, which is the VCC voltage, to get into the SIM. When the SIM card chip has received the 1.8 volt, then the CPU will then know that this, the SIM card has received that voltage and it's going to know that because there will be a 1.8 volt, let me mark this, there will be a 1.8 volt in this interruption line right here. And when the 1.8 volt is available, then the CPU will know that the circuit, the, the detection circuit of the SIM card is okay. And when the CPU knows that the circuit is okay, that the phone, that the SIM card has been plugged into the phone, the CPU is going to give out a clock signal, it's going to send a clock signal and a reset signal into the SIM card chip. Keep in mind, the reason why I'm saying it's a SIM card chip is because the SIM card is actually a chip. So all these connections, the voltages are going into the SIM card itself. When the CPU sends the clock signal and the reset signal after receiving the interruption signal, then the SIM card will then give out the UIM data right here, which is the SIM card, all information in the SIM card that the CPU needs. And that's when you are going to see the SIM card detected in your mobile phone. So this is the complete SIM card circuit, SIM card detection. So this is the complete SIM card detection circuit of all mobile phones. I know that right now you don't know how to, to troubleshoot by looking at this circuit right here. That's why I have the complete circuit in my mobile repairing course. So send me a message on WhatsApp using the number on the screen right here to get this complete course. Those who were not able to get my professional level course last month, I'm sorry that you are going to pay the standard price right here because I set a discount, a $50 discount for a whole month. And those who got the, the course during that period were so lucky. So right now you have to, to pay the standard fee, which is $150. And in case if that sounds big to you, I tell you what, that's because you don't yet know all the things that you are going to study in this course and that's why you have to watch this video right here so that you will see all the things that you are going to study you will see what the course is like it's so great and once you go through the course you will be a total beast in troubleshooting mobile repairing falls thank you and see you soon